Hi, I'm Fraser Douglas, the avid tent camper. In this video, I want to show you how I replace a camp axe handle. A few days ago, I bought a small Michigan pattern Collins axe head, and now I want to put a new 14 inch handle on it. This video will show you the basic steps of replacing that handle. The first thing that we need to do to put this handle on is to trim a little bit of material away from the neck of the handle so that it will fit inside of the eye. Right now it's a little too large. Now to trim this material away, I could use my camp knife and that would work. I could use a draw knife and that would work a little bit better. Or I could use another hatchet and uh, I'm going to use another hatchet. Well, that slides in pretty good. Well, now that I've got the end of the neck inserted inside the eye, I need to start trimming away a little bit more so that the handle neck will fit very snugly to the bottom of the eye. Doesn't have to fit snugly to the top of the eye, but I want it to fit snugly to the bottom of the eye. And as I look at it right now, I can see that I've got a little gap back here, and I've got a little gap up here, and it's a little too fat right in the middle. I'm going to use this four in hand rasp to slowly remove material until this fits a lot better. I'm also going to use this pencil and I'm going to look down there and right now I can see I need to remove a, a lot of material there and a lot of material on this side. So that's what I'm going to do is start working on those sides and uh, by the way I've got tape on the edge because this uh, head was sharp when I got it and I don't want to cut myself so I've got tape on the edge Now let's see how it slides in. Looking good. I can see that when I tapped it, a little wood curled up right there that tells me that that's too tight at that spot. So I'm gonna mark that spot. And I see it curled up here in the front. So I've gotta mark that spot. And those are the two, two spots I'm gonna work on now. A little tight right there. A little tight right there. Now that we've got the neck so fitted so that it fits the eye of the head, the next thing I want to do is to sand the handle. First, I'm going to sand it with rough uh, 120 grit sandpaper, and then I'm going to finish it up with a very smooth uh, 400 grit sandpaper. Well, my handle is nice and smooth now, and so 
the next step is to get my wooden wedge ready. Now, wedges come in all sizes. Uh, this one, I kind of checked it. It's a little too small. And so I need something a little bit larger. Uh, this is a wedge for an ax and I could trim it down so that it would fit, but it's much too large. But I found a good wedge uh, that looks like it's gonna fit very well. In order to make it fit though, it's a little too wide, and so I want to take my pocket knife and begin to trim away down at the bottom of the wedge. Well, I've got my wedge shaped. I've trimmed it off a little bit down at the bottom so that it will slide in. About like that, and when I pound it with a hammer, it's gonna go even further. Looks like it fills up the entire eye. And so now the next step is to put that wedge into a little boiled linseed oil. I wanna soak that wedge in the boiled linseed oil. And I want to coat this neck and inside the kerf with a boiled linseed oil. Now when working with boiled linseed oil, I want to put on my gloves because that oil will eat the skin away from my hands. So I'm going to take a little bit of the oil that I've got in this pan and pour it on the outside of my neck and work that in. Feel good. Then I want to pour a little bit down into the curve. Now I'm gonna put my ax head in and to seat this head, I'm gonna use this rubber mallet. Now I'm gonna get my wedge out and I've trimmed one to be my front and one to be my back so I wanna make sure I get that lined up properly. And then I begin to drive this wedge in with a hammer. I believe that's about as far in as it'll go. And now I'll take my saw. Now I wanna, now I wanna trim off the excess with my saw. Now I'm going to use my file and sandpaper to smooth the wood out. You heard check the video. Okay. Because I forgot I put my hand here. Okay, let me put a little bit of boiled linseed oil 
up here. And I believe that hatchet is done. Now I just need to make a leather overstrike collar and a sheath and I'll be ready to take it camping. Oh, I need to drill a lanyard hole also and put a lanyard on it. After drilling the lanyard hole, I also applied a couple of coats of boiled linseed oil to the handle. Well, I hope this video helps you understand how I make my camp axes from old vintage axe heads and inspires you to try to make one for yourself. For more information about vintage camp axes, please visit my website, www.basictentcamping.com, and read my book, Basic Tent Camping. Remember, take more trips, travel further, visit more attractions, and save money. Go tent camping.